And welcome back to Joe from New England. We are in the city of Quincy, Massachusetts. You know, it's been a while since I've been over here. Now, my doctor's here, and I've gone to doctors, left, and everything else. But I haven't been down this section in a while. Oh, they changed everything. And I'm like, oh, what happened to the parking garage? It was leveled. This is just on the other side of Bergen Parkway. They put a new bridge in called the General's Bridge. And I'm walking around without a hat on. I should have brought my hat with me. And uh, they put a new park in over here. So I'm going to check out this little park over here. Just off to my, just right over here, to my right. And, uh, I'm like totally, I'm totally uh, at awe over this. This is beautiful. No, no. Let me show you here what's going on. So we're at McConville Way, okay? That's a new bridge, okay? Star Market's right over. This that up there is Bergen Parkway. This is a new bridge. There's the old the old bridge that went over to Star Market. And that bridge is new. So they built a beautiful, beautiful park here. Right across from, from the General's Bridge. And uh Yeah, I'm like an awe. This wasn't here ten years ago. They did a lot of work down here. A lot of work, you know. Um, and then moved the unemployment office too. I just found, I just found that. And I just found that. Literally, I just looked left and found it. And uh, they got a beautiful little park here. Let me show you what's here. Okay, this is General James C. McConville, United States Army. Okay, saw that right here. All right. I think this is his military history. Okay, let's start with born March 16th, 1959. Uh, raised here in Marymount, section of Quincy, Mass. Okay, 1981 graduate of the United States Military Academy at West Point. That's the year I graduated high school. So he graduated West Point okay, in 81. And then comes back here, shows Master Army Aviator qualified in the AH-64D Longbow Apache, the OH-58 Kiowa Warrior, and the AH-60 and the AH-1 Culvers. Okay. 1998-2000, commanding uh, commander of the 2nd Squadron, 17th Cavalry. Uh, regiment, Hunter Forest Airborne Division, Air Assault. Now, I'm just, I'm reading this as a no one, so it starts with at the, at the lower step. 2007-2008, Deputy Commander General, support of the Hunter First Airborne Division, Air Assault. Uh, actually, I missed them here. 2002-2003 20, uh, first, should be first, and be Commander of the 4th Brigade, 1st Cavalry. 2004-2005, commander of the 4th Brigade, 1st Cavalry, and I wrapped. Okay. They said 2007-2008, Deputy Commanding General Support, 101st Airborne Division, Air Assault. 2008-2009, Deputy Commander General, uh, yeah, Deputy Commanding General Support of the CJTF 101 in Afghanistan. 2013-2014, Commanding General Combined Joint Task Force, Honor First in Afghanistan. 2017-2019, 36 Vice Chief of Staff of the United States Army and awarded the Army Distinguished Service Medal second time. The Legion of Merit three times and the Bronze Star three times. This is just one. 
He is the 40th chief of the 40th chief of staff of the United States Army. Okay. General, I salute you. And over here we have General Joseph F. Dunford Jr., United States Marine Corps. Awarded the Defense Distinguished Service Medal. Okay? So let's start here in his history. Born in 55, raised in the Marymount neighborhood. Same Mar same section. Same section over here, just four years earlier. He's raised in Marymount as well, a section of Quincy Mass. 1996, commanding uh, commander of the 2nd Battalion, uh, 6 Marines. 2001 to 2003, served in Iraq as commanding of the commander of the United of the 5th Marines Re uh, Regiment. 2009-2010, commanding general of the since I Marine, I think it might be First Marine, I guess. Expedition Force and Marine Force. Central Command. I'm an Air Force guy. 2010 to 2012, Assistant Commanding uh, Commons. Oh, Assistant Commandant of the Marine Corps. 2013 to 2014, Commander of International Security Assistance Force and U.S. Forces in Afghanistan. And he was awarded the Defense Distinguished Service Medal. Navy Distinguished Service Medal, Defense Superior Service Medal, two times, and the Legion of Merit with Valor. He's 19th Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, 36th Commandant of the United States Marine Corps. This is General Joseph F. Dunford, Jr. of the United States Marine Corps. So, then we have the 32nd Chief of Staff of the United States Army. This is General Gordon R. Sullivan, United States Army, who was born in 1937, uh, September 25th, 1937, raised in the Lincoln Square neighborhood of Quincy. Hmm. How am I going to figure out? I, used to, I lived in this city for a little bit. Overseas assignments including four tours in Europe, Two in Vietnam wartime and one in Korea. Okay. 1918, uh, 1981 to 1983. Uh, 1918, yeah, right. 1981 83, year I graduated. A couple towns down the road. Uh, Commander 1st Brigade, 3rd uh, Armored Division, and Frankfurt, Germany. 1983 to 85, Assistant Commandant. United States Army uh, Armor School at Fort Knox, Kentucky. 1987, 1988, Deputy Commander, uh, correction, Deputy Commandant, United States Army Command and General Staff College at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. 1990, 91, 22nd Vice Chief of Staff of the United States Army. He has received the Legion of Merit, Bronze Star, Purple Heart, and Combat Infantry, uh, Combat Infant, yeah, Infantry Man Badge. Sorry about that, I had a joke here. <coughs> and awarded the Defense Distinguished Service Medal, Army Distinguished Service Medal, and Defense Superior Service Medal. This is General Gordon R. United States Army. He was the 32nd Chief of Staff of the United States Army and the Commanding General of 1st Industry Division, uh, mechanized at Fort Riley, Kansas. Again, Jordan, uh, General Gordon R. Sullivan. So, I put a nice little, oh, water fountain in the middle here. Three generals of uh, either the Marine Corps or the Army grew up here in Quincy. So, and uh, we salute you all and thank you for your services. And I think they're still around. Um, 
37.90. I'm not sure if he's, he might still be around. Uh, the LQ should be, or close, you know, hopefully they are. So, but generals of all three generals, we salute you. Thank you very much for your service. And right across the street from here, which brought me over here, this is what I was looking for. Um, if you see in the background, that right there is the 911 Memorial, the mobile memorial, mobile unit. I was just at, and I haven't posted that one. I don't think I did yet. Um, no, I haven't yet. But I, I was just at the actual 9-11 memorial at the end of August. And this is this is mid-September. It's actually the 21st of September. And right there is the mobile, um, mobile memorial. I was going to go there. But it doesn't open until 11 o'clock in the morning. And it's, I have my doctor's appointment, and it's now 9.02. So, we're going to, uh, I'm going to see if it's maybe I can peek in there. I don't think it's open, though. No, it's not. So, but, uh, hey, folks, thanks for watching this little clip. Um, City of Quincy, they've done. I'm going to take a little more driving around. I might get more footage. But, uh, but listen, um, oh, what's this? I got a plaque over here, a plaque here. Huh. Plaque on this one, too? Yep. Um, oh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. There are three other statues over there. I forgot about that. Let me get back over here and get these statues. So. Now, I don't know when they opened this up. I really don't. All of a sudden, I drove by this one. I'm like, when was that put there? And that was because when it came in, was a different way than I usually come in for my doctor's appointment. It's usually I take the pike, but 128 was so backed up, I ended up taking the, taking the 128. So we have a few more here. Let me show you. It's not the greatest because the sun is behind it. And I'm pointing. I'm pointing into the sun. But, but this is Major General Charles W. Sweeney, United States Air Force, years of service, 41 to 76. Brigadier General Ronald T. Rand, United States Air Force, 71 to 2004. There, sir. I salute you. He was in the Air Force when I was in the Air Force. Major General Francis M. McQuinn, United States Army National Guard. Years of service, 81 to present. Doesn't have a year, year he got out. And Major General Stephen T. Keith, Jr., United States Air Force Reserve, 42 to 82, 40 years. And this is the thing, and this is the uh, statement on General's, General's Park. We honor the generals, these generals, yeah, let's try it again. We honor these generals for the devotion to our national protection of this Constitution, our way of life, and the welfare of the men and women who don the uniform. These men never sought accolades or rank. They were chosen to lead because... They possess the virtues of leadership, integrity, courage, humility, and loyalty. A grateful city is proud to claim them as our own and promote their, leg their, their legacies to inspire service to the community in the United States of America. Signed, Mayor Thomas P. Koch, City of Quincy. And that's, you know, I mean, this is actually phenomenal. I mean, this is a, this is a little, a little find here, which not many people knew about. Um, well, I didn't know about it, and I did. I, I grew up two towns down. My, my family's family was from here. My mother's parents, my mother and father both grew up here in Quincy. Actually, my mom used to work at 
Quincy Hospital right on top of the hill, um, which is top of that hill right there, actually, if you zoom in. It's like zoom in. I'm looking at it, I don't know if it's going to find it in here. But uh, just to the right, yeah. There's a street right there. See that car going up? That's old Hospital Hill, they call that. That's where Mother used to work up there. So, but they built this bridge, and I said, I didn't know about this till this morning when I drove by. I mean, it's been here a while, I guess. I saw people doing some work on it one time. This bridge honors the service of sons of the city of Quincy, who achieved the rank of general in the respective branches of the United Armed Forces. And these are the ones we were just talking about. Joseph Dunford, uh, General Joseph F. Dunford, Jr., General James C. McCon uh, McConville, General Gordon R. Sullivan, Major General Charles Sweeney, Brigadier General Ronald Rand, and Major General Francis M. McQuinn. So, for you folks, thank you very much for your service. So, I hope you liked the short clip of the find I found this morning. By the way, it's a beautiful morning. It is gorgeous. September 21st, blue skies, not a cloud in the sky. So, uh, September 21st, 2023. And it's temperature right now in Quincy is 58 degrees. I'm wearing a, my, my Joe from New England shirt over a long sleeve t-shirt. And then the sun is, feels, feels nice. So, but uh, here you go, folks. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Okay, comment out, comment. I want to hear all your comments about this. Also, folks, please share it out, especially if you know people in the area. Definitely share it out. The, the, if you're in the Quincy area, take 10 minutes, stop in, find a parking spot. I found one on a dirt lot, um, but there's plenty of parking here. Pull in for a minute and take a look. You're watching Joe from London, from New England. So as I said, uh, if you see in the amateur radio world, 7-3. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you in the next episode of Joe from New England.